Hello, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting, you guys. My phone, I am about to throw it out of the balcony. Um, one second, let me get set up here. But if I told you that every time I record a video, I can't freaking do anything. There's no space to do absolutely anything. It's absolutely mind-blowing. I drives me bananas. But glad you guys are here. Everybody in oh, goodness. We don't want volume on this. Hi, everybody. Joining, how are you doing? Okay, now that I got it all set up, I'm going to go say hello to everybody. <laughs> Hi, Paul, hi, Knives, out at EC, Patrick, Gabriel, Chucky, William, Cody, Ryan, Bruno, Jeremy, who did I miss? Paul, William, Ira, hello, everybody, hi, Chucky, hi, Zach, hi, Cody, hi, Bronzefire, Super Duty, Jesse, uh, hi, Canada, Leo, Danny, Jean Pierre, hello, everybody, okay, so. Check it out. This is what I'm going to do because I'm late. So it's, this isn't my fault. It's my phone's fault. But hold on. Hope. Oh, my God. My setup is bad, you guys. I'm working on it to make it better. But I just want to make sure that we can all see it because I know what you're here for. <laughs> okay. So today I'm going to have two live giveaways. Um... And I'm going to be doing these every week, to be honest with you, because I enjoyed them very much last week. Last week, I did four giveaways, and this week, I'm going to do two. Um, my account has just been growing so much, and I this is my way to show my appreciation. Last week, I was celebrating my 36,000 uh, subscribers. Today, I'm celebrating 37 and a half. So next week, hopefully, it will be 38, and we'll move forward from then. So... I appreciate you all being here. So I wanted to start it just a few minutes after I started my live feed because what I used to do prior to doing giveaways was this was kind of my way to um, check in with you guys, say hello, answer questions, and chat. So the giveaways are starting soon. But in the meantime, you know, if you have questions, ask away. If there's something that you want to talk about, please let me know. Um, in the meantime... I really wanted to um, give you guys a little bit of an update on the on my channel. Um, as you guys know, if you are in the knife community, you probably know um, that one of the most popular knife channels, Metal Complex, was demonetized. And that was such a poopo thing to happen. And it really hit us all in the knife community a lot. So I'm going to make a few changes. Who was that? Sam I am. Is it Sam I am or Sam I am? $20, thank you so much for contributing. You know what? I appreciate this because last time I did a giveaway, of course, it went to Canada. <laughs> so I spent like $20 just on shipping. Um, so if that happens today, we're covered. So thank you so much, Sam. I really appreciate it. Um, rainy day fund, that, that works. I, I think it does. <laughs> thank you so, so much, Sam. You are always amazing and, and what a great member of the community. I really appreciate it. Hi, Jay at All American Firearms Academy. Hi, Connor. How are you doing? Um, I don't want to miss any of you guys, um, but I'm trying to kind of talk and say hello at the same time. Okay, so here is um, what I was saying about my, my, channel, um, my channel situation. So because, you know, guns and knives and anything considered weapons are kind of highly targeted by YouTube, I will continue to do knife reviews and EDC gear reviews, but I will add a little bit of lifestyle on my channel. That means that at least once a week, you should expect a different kind of video. Not only knife reviews or EDC gear reviews, but you'll see me more outside doing things that I like and sharing them with you. And that really looks like fishing like I did today. I know you guys uh, have seen my video or some of you because I read your comments. Um, so fishing is going to be one of them. I'm going to do more vlogs where I will show you guys what I do, lifestyle, whatever. Um, I'm also thinking about doing things with knives that do not require a review like cooking, for example. That's one that a lot of you have requested and I would love to show you my gaming love. <laughs> so um, that's kind of like my nerd side and I know that that's probably the most 
further away from my current channel content, but I really feel that we really um, need to expand. Otherwise, we're going to get targeted because of weapons. Um, although, you know, I consider knives to be a tool, not necessarily a weapon. I do show a lot of self-defense on my channel, so I'm just really trying to cover my butt. So I hope you stick around and that um, you watch my videos. <laughs> All right. Okay, someone asked, how's my, how was my fishing day? It was really good. We caught three catfish. You guys, I'm not an expert whatsoever. I'm like very new. I have no equipment. You know, I everybody was like, you need some, you know, um, no spliers or for the for the hook you guys i have absolutely nothing so i really need to get on my fishing gear development i just fish downstairs so really i just grab my fishing rods and make it happen <laughs> but i will get it better and you will see the evolution so maybe hopefully in some videos in the future you'll see some cool stuff carla learning what what she's doing <laughs> okay um well, it seems like you guys are liking the idea, so I really appreciate that, you guys, honestly. Um, it means a lot to me, so stick around if you can. Someone is reminding you to hit the thumbs up button, so thank you. Yes, please do. It's hard sometimes uh, you don't see the thumbs up uh, option on a live feed, so go ahead and hit it if you can. Jean-Pierre, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Everything helps, you guys. I mean, in the knife community, I think we all look out for each other, and it's really nice Um to get some extra flow, honestly, to keep the giveaways going, to ship stuff. We also um, pass around knives quite a bit. So we also ship them around the community. And again, I'm lucky because I have been able to work with a lot of knife companies that have sent me stuff, that have gifted me stuff, and I just want to give back. So that's what I'm here for. So hopefully you guys get some new cool things today, if you're lucky. Uh, before we start, um, I'm going to give myself a few more minutes, but before we start, I'm going to give you guys the rules. I don't know if you've been here last week, but it's important for you guys to know the rules. It's actually very, very simple. So, Who was that? Gabrielle. Say, I got catfished once. Oh, no. Gabrielle, that sucks, and it happens more than you think. Um, you know, I, my pictures get used all the time for catfishing, and it's freaking absurd and very upsetting okay so whatsapp is saying carla please do gym cooking and nutrition videos okay i guess i can do that nutrition videos i'm gonna check that out oh yeah whatsapp you were the one that says to get a leatherman for fishing yeah you know i've been wanting a leatherman because i think it's kind of like the ultimate multi-tool so i think i'm gonna get one of those um let's see do you ever go crabbing I don't, but you know what? There is an insane amount here in Marco. Um, it's interesting because all the sea life in Marco is very um, okay with the people around. So to the point that you go to the beach and, you know, there's birds all over the place. It's really easy to fish on the beach and on the bay. And I think that's why I've been lucky because it sort of just happens. And um, I'm excited to do more of that. So I'll try to get on to... And <laughs> some different things I do have a paddle board as well um that I'm really looking forward to you know take out on the bay and I don't know do some fun things I need a GoPro for that I know my dad has one so I need to borrow it from him David saying he never he never gets a knife well maybe you'll get one today let's see would you ever review a katana you know if i ever get one <laughs> i'll definitely do a review someone is asking and carla do you work out <laughs> what do you think i mean no, i'm kidding i of course i work out quite a lot um it's been sort of like my lifestyle for the past three years and that's my name little fit devil i mean <laughs> that's um that's really who i am so yeah i i take my workout seriously i have had a really strong workout ethic and it has paid off, so most certainly. There's crabs in Maryland. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Where is Marco Island located in Florida? It's South Florida. Very, very South Florida. So from Miami, right, it's about another hour and a half south. 
but not on the same coast, on the opposite coast. Okay, guys, 944. Let me give you guys the giveaway rules and then I will come back to questions after the giveaways. So if you have questions for the end, please let me know. Let's get the giveaway started. Here are the rules. First off, I'm going to give you guys a number from, I let's forget about that, but I'm gonna give you guys a number and you're gonna to have to guess it. I will type start, when I say start, you start throwing it, then the number guess you have. It's only one guess, type only once. I have a moderator that's gonna kick you out if you don't. So only one guess. And the winner is the one that actually guesses the number or that guesses the number that's closest to the number I wrote on a piece of paper. Those are the rules, very simple, very straightforward. Let me show you what I got for giveaway numero uno. Okay, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, okay. Giveaway numero uno. You guys, I'm gonna do kind of like a his and hers type of deal. Of course, you're here to participate. Please give this away to your wife if, if you, you know, want to or not. But let's start with, I'm gonna start with the hers first. So here's what I got. Bear with me. Okay, as always, I'm gonna have a fair amount of stickers for you guys. So let me kind of show it to you guys. First up, Gains and Guns. Second, Tactical Art from Bastino Creations, my most favorite knife maker in the entire universe. Actually, I kind of want to maybe try to switch this so you guys can see what I'm giving away and not my face. Okay, stickers. Then we got Boogaloo Second Amendment sticker. Boss Steel Blades decal as well as a sticker pipe hitters union and you guys all these brands are brands i collaborate with and people i collaborate with so thank you so much to everybody vet wad supporting veterans always amazing we have sticker from allegiant holsters big ready dc you probably guys know him tpk Tale of Knives, actually review of their EDC gear coming up tomorrow, and Zach's Stuff sticker, as well as, of course, some LFD stickers necessary. Okay. Any questions up to this point? No. Let's keep at it. So, next up, again, remember, this is the hearse kind of giveaway. We have a kitty ladies personal defense this is these are actually amazing these are called equalizers you can actually just like hook it to your keychain they're kind of neat i kind of love them and not to mention it's a cat who doesn't love cats i do okay that's one then we got this is the puna tool from three coil check this out guys look how tiny this is and let me tell you why this is cool i'm going to show you first off this is incredibly sharp and it's really a scalpel. So the cool thing about these tools is that you can actually remove the blade and travel with just this part, okay? And then you can purchase these. These are for sale at pretty much any pharmacy. So you can travel without it. Then you go to a pharmacy, put this thing on, and now you have a little bit of a something to carry with you, you know, if you travel light and you can't check bags or whatever. So that's that. And last but not least, we got a knife. This is the Maiso, designed by Bram Frank. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but he is the creator of this opening system. Very similar to the Emerson Wave, however, a little more forgiving. If you recall the Emerson Wave, when you put it in your pocket, you deploy it immediately. On this one, you have to perform a little bit of a twisting action so that this can get hooked into your uh, fabric, clothing, purse, whatever. Um, so this one is pretty damn cool. Um, and this is how it works. I'm gonna show you with my shirt. So see, it will hook here and it deploys and you can do it with your jeans, shoes, whatever. Um, and yeah, there you go. So this is, this is the 
first giveaway package, okay? Uh, let's see. Someone is asking a few questions. So that's the one I want. Hold on. Can you link all of the giveaway knives to who makes them? Absolutely. Absolutely. So at the end of this video, I will put all the information in the description. Um, also, I have reviewed um, the Puna already, so you can find that in my channel. Um, and I have reviewed many knives by Bastinelli that uses this Bramp system. So uh, Bastinelli designs instead of with an immersion wave, he designs it with the Bramp. So you guys can um, take a peek at that. All right, guys, giveaway time. I am going to go ahead, get a piece of paper. I'm going to write a number down. You guys are not going to see it because I'm going to do it down here. Okay. And the winner wins this whole thing. Okay. So I need you guys to write. Hey, we didn't start, Mickey. Chillax. <laughs> okay. When I, when I write start in here, you guys are going to guess a number between 200 and 300 when I press start. If you did it before, then you're going to have to redo. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to I'm going to get this started. As soon as I start, you can go ahead and get your guess. And good luck. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. A number between 200 and 300. The person who hits it right on the dot wins it or the person that actually gets closest to it and i will give you guys a couple of minutes just to make sure that you know if you guys are a little slow and remember it's one number between 200 and 300 so if you are guessing something that's not between 200 and 300 try again only one guess only one guess and i'm kind of taking a peek at what we have you guys have another minute. Hey, Mary, Mary's here. She's coming to visit me actually soon, so. Okay, I see some good guesses. I'm gonna close it in about 40 seconds. One number between 200 and 300 and you win this whole set of goodness. And don't worry if you don't win this one, there's one more that I'm going to do tonight. My moderator, please kind of like take a peek after I press, um, I hit the end of the giveaway. Okay guys, 10 seconds and I'm going to end the giveaway. When I say finish, no more guesses are allowed, okay? Few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish. Okay, so the number was 249. Let's see who won. So I'm just going to scroll up. The winner is going to have to email me at littlefitdevil at outlook.com to claim your price so I can get your address and ship it to you. Mary, you were so close. Let's see, did anyone get closer than Mary? She came in late and is gonna steal this? <laughs> Let's see. 249 is the winning number. Give me a second, you guys, okay? I need to kind of like scroll through this. There's a, okay, did Mary win? Let's see, Mary got Mary guessed, what did you mean guess? I know I saw 244. Yeah, 244 is the closest one. Good job, Mary. Wait, who, who did someone, wait a second, Lowell. No, never mind, Mary, sorry, found the winner. Someone found the winner. 
Lowell Woodman. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. You guys, I'm still like, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to do this. Lowell, congratulations. Okay. Thank you guys for doing that for me. Um, Lowell Wood Goodman, please go ahead and email me at littlefitdevil at Outlook. Um, if you don't remember this, I'm going to write it down here for you guys. Okay, email me right there. Congratulations, Lowell. You are the winner. Okay, I'm gonna pack this up for Lowell. Are you guys ready for giveaway numero dos? And I did miss someone right before the giveaway. I know I did. I wanted to thank them. Bruda, Miranda, thank you so much for contributing. I'm sorry I got distracted with the giveaway and I and I saw your message and then I kind of disregarded by accident. But thank you so much for the contribution, Bruda, Miranda. I always appreciate that. It really helps me continue to do these for you guys. Okay, great win. Let's keep at it. I'm gonna put this out of the way. Okay, are you guys ready? Same rules apply, okay? Let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for this one. This one will require a larger box. <laughs> okay. Hi, Nebu Cloud. How are you doing? So Nebu Cloud is actually working currently on a um, little trailer for my channel. So I'm pretty excited about that. And you guys, I will fix the camera as soon as we're done with the giveaway. I know you can only see half of my face, but. Here we go. All right, let's start with the stickers as always. All right, so we have Pipes Heaters Union. Core gun builds, I already reviewed them. They are incredible. Check out my review if you'd like. No, I'll keep to the end. All American Firearms Academy, my friend Jay runs this facility in Florida. Check it out if you can. Boss Steel Blades, as always, they are one of my biggest uh, knife collaborators. We have a decal as well as a sticker. Then we have Allegiant Holsters. I, I actually just posted them on my Instagram. Lift and Let Die. DTOM Knives and Gear, one of the members of our knife community. Then we have Bastinelli Knives, one of their most popular stickers. Pale Horse Coffee, Little Fit Devil stickers as always, and One Up Fitness. So you guys, I am a um, team member. I'm sponsored by One Up Nutrition on Instagram. So today on top of what I'm giving away, I'm also adding a bunch of One Up Nutrition things for you guys. So the winner's gonna get a massive Egg white, egg white protein. So that goes to whoever wins this giveaway. Wait a second, it's too big. I don't even know where to put it, you guys. There. We're gonna add some samples of Pro Ripped uh, Vegan Greens and Reds. I have some more whey protein, more vegan greens and reds, some BCAAs. Oh, and some Beauty Dream, Make Her Lean Max, more greens and red. Okay, all this going for the winner. Now, the fun part. So as always, I like to put something in here that is from my collection. So the winner is going to win, among other things, chan, 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 my battering. hope you're excited about it. <laughs> uh, this thing is so sharp, you guys. It's so intimidating. And um, it's nothing fancy. It's just kind of a fun thing. Um, it comes with a little pouch and you can actually uh, put it on your belt. It's really neat. It has been in my collection for a bit. 
I just figured it would be awesome to give it away because um, someone needs to find the joy that I found just having this. I mean, there's no using this, right? It's just cool to have one. So let me show you again because it's pretty cool. Chanan, battering. Okay. If you guys like this, you're going to like the rest. Okay. Next up, we have from Allegiant Holsters. This is actually a belt velcro system for your keys so you loop this on your belt and you put your keys in here and because of the hook mechanism you can actually take your keys out super fast um so this one's actually pretty pretty cool so this is from allegiant holsters i just got this one they have sent it to me together with an, my brand new holster so i decided to give it away to you guys because i think it's pretty neat and last but not least from Scallywag, I'm giving away a super sweet dagger in red with a sheath. This is obviously a personal defense knife. This is not a trainer. So be careful when you are actually using this if you win this. Okay, guys, I hope you liked all the stuff that we have uh, in store for you. Um, and I'll be doing these giveaways, you know, as much as I can. So. I'm glad you guys are here. So let me do a rule reminder for everyone that maybe is late to the party. So in order to win all of this, you're going to have to guess the number that I'm going to write on a piece of paper. One guess only. And it has to be a number on the range that I'm going to give you prior to start. I'm going to say start. And then you're going to guess the number. And then I'm going to say finish. And whoever hits the number right on the spot or whoever actually gets it closest wins do not start yet you guys cody what you doing <laughs> okay so let me go ahead and grab a piece of paper write my number you guys get at it think let's see so You guys look in my eyes see if you can guess what i'm going to write here all right so the number not the number <laughs> the range of numbers is from 100 to 200 Think about it, 100 to 200. I don't wanna see any numbers outside of the range. When I hit start, that's when you type your number. Do not start yet. It needs to be typed after I press start. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, one number between 100 and 200. And whoever guesses wins this whole amazingness. One up nutrition, whey protein and a bunch of stickers and an Allegiant holsters, key holder, a battering and a scallywag dagger. Remember, a number between 100 and 200, one guess only. If you guess too much, I'm kicking you out and my moderator will kick you out as well. Just one time, you guys, one time. Whoever hits the number wins or whoever is closest to the number. So. You got this. You got this, you guys. Think. Think about what I wrote here. See if you win. I'm going to give you guys about another minute. So if you're late to the game, one number between 100 and 200, you got this. I'm starting to read just in case. So then, then I struggle. <laughs> Okay, 30 seconds, you guys. One number between 100 and 200. One guess only. Hello, the Filipina crystal. If you're new, come on, participate. One number between 100 and 200. Few seconds left, and I will close it out. When I write finish, we're done. One number between 100 and 200. Use your powers, only one guess. <laughs> only one guess. <laughs> All 
All right, 10 seconds. Only one guess, 10 seconds, one number between 100 and 200. I'm about to close this out. Once I write finish, we're done. Okay, and you guys are gonna help me decide the winner, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. One guess only, everybody, and done. Okay, the number I chose was 163. Let's see who won all this goodness. This one was a good giveaway, you guys. This one was a good one. So let's see. As I scroll, you guys help me out here, okay? If you guys help me, then we don't have to suffer <laughs> for me going through this stuff. 163 won all this stuff. Let's see. Who got it? Did someone guess it right? I think it was Chadney Com Comage. My moderator, can you can you check? Yep, everybody, Chadney, good good job, Chadney. Congratulations, Chadney. Please go ahead if you're still here, Chadney. You have to send me an email with your address. I'm, saying, I'm putting my email in here so you guys can do it. There you go. Does everybody know Chad? <laughs> everybody congratulate Chad. Okay, Chadney, send me an email with your address so I can send you um, all this goodness. Chadney Comage. Okay. That's that for the giveaways, you guys. So if you guys missed this part, I will be doing giveaways every single Saturday night during my live feeds. I will always try to make them fun and have multiple things. Um, especially, you know, I do collaborate with a lot of people, if not on YouTube, on Instagram. So that makes it for some pretty cool giveaways, you know, not just knives, but you get the knife and something else, which I think is kind of cool. Um, also, um, let's see, remember what I said, I will be providing a little bit of different content on my channel. So I will be looking for your feedback. Um, I will definitely be doing polls during my stories and uh, community section here on YouTube. So I would really love to um, get your feedback on what you want to see me provide in the channel, um, you know, and what you want to do. Now, I'm going to stick around for maybe 10 more minutes. So if you guys have any questions at this point, this is your chance to do so um, while I put this stuff away. And the winners, remember to send me the email. If you guys don't know, I am on Instagram. That's actually where I'm the most active because I have had that account for like three years. <laughs> but uh, I'm slowly getting more into YouTube because honestly, it's I think the place to be for content creation um, and brand development. So good job, Chani. Look at the cool stuff you want. Okay, do you, not today, accept town. Um, next week. Stay tuned for next Saturday. JJ, and that's not my dad. That's funny. My dad's name is JJ too, and he's Argentinian. So, hola, Rosario Argentina. And I'm looking this way. You guys, actually, I can fix my camera now. There. Yeah, way better. Hey, John, how are you? You missed the giveaway, but don't worry. I'll do one next week. Okay, so Knives Out DDC is asking, do you have a favorite fidget knife? You know, currently, I love the uh, SOG Terminus XR. It's incredible for fidgeting. SOG actually has amazing fidget knives. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's incredible. They are new stuff. Ira, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I love that little dinosaur. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> Thank you. Thumbs up to you. I really appreciate this because 
it really does help me continue the giveaways and i know you guys are having fun and i am too absolutely sam i am you win 20 dollars for being a nice giving person oh my gosh thank you sam that means a lot to me honestly that that hits my heart <laughs> i i truly appreciate it and um you know i was planning so my birthday you guys is coming up it's um may 12th so what is this that wednesday next wednesday uh one of the reasons why my friend mary is coming to see me who she's around here and um i want to be 34 years old <laughs> gosh but um i say this because i wanted to do something for my birthday on youtube uh, potentially uh I don't know, maybe like a, another cool giveaway or like a live feed where, you know, maybe like I, I produce a video showing you guys my birthday. And this is part of me trying to give you guys a little bit of more lifestyle content. So maybe I'll do that too. So thank you guys, Ira and Sam for, uh, you know, for doing that. So stay tuned. I might just be doing like a birthday celebration video. Why not? I mean, if you guys like that stuff, let me know. Comment in here, you know, or on one of my videos or on my community posts or whatever. I'm planning on maybe starting a conversation on my community post tomorrow on what do you want to see. So I think that's kind of nice. Okay, let's see here. Who's that? Robert Maro. I know your channel is dedicated to knives, but do you think we can get a shooting range video similar to you to your fishing video the other day? I'm so glad you said that, Robert. Absolutely. And let me tell you, I have a crazy training planned for the first week of June. So give it another three weeks and there will definitely be some range content for you. Um, not only range, but training content of something that I haven't really done in the past. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I will be going to the Destin area in Florida and I will be getting some really cool training. So Stay tuned for that. I do have a range close by. It just has been a little hard for me to get there, but my dad is moving soon. And that means that little men can stay with him and I can go shoot. So <laughs> I know you guys want more gun related content. I'm aware. So bear with me. It's just not that I don't want to provide that content. It's just that I have not find the time um, to work full time and deal with social media and take care of my little man all by myself. So life is crazy. So um, with my dad moving closer to me, I think that will make things a lot easier. So who is that? Sam. Oh my gosh, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. I appreciate you so much. This means a lot to me. I promise I'll put this in for another giveaway. You guys are amazing. I, I know you say happy birthday and I know that it's probably for my birthday and I, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. That That's awesome. I appreciate it. Chucky's saying Taurus are the best. Taurus are the best. <laughs> oh my God. I like to think that, but man, stuff being a Taurus sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see. Um, Carla, uh, this is WhatsApp. Carla, uh, he's asking, do you carry a gun as well? If so, what do you carry? So my main EDC choice is my Sig P238. Uh, it's a Spartan, so it's like a mini gun, if that makes sense. Um, and it's a 380 ACP, so it's really hard to find ammo. So I try to just keep that for, you know, self-defense purposes. So that's my main choice of carry. I do have a couple other options, but that's really what I carry the most. And I just shoot with my full-size weapons at the range, although I have taken my P238 at to the range as well, and it's a lot of fun. Hello, LFD. What knife brand do you want but do you not have yet? Well, I would love to replace my browse blades that I lost a couple years back. So that was my only browse, and now I don't have any. So I would love to get another browse. Um, and an Emerson. I would really like an Emerson. I do not have an Emerson. So that's that's the one, Blade Ogre. Um, Chucky. Hi, Chucky. Lowell. Oh, yeah, he won. Good job, Lowell. Send me an email. Don't forget. Oh, there's some SOG lovers here. Hey, they have done some great things in the, you know, in the, in the last, I want to say, year or so. I remember SOG. I have a SOG old generation, right? Like a, kind of like a crappy knife. 
and I have a lot of new things and I love them so much. I actually became an affiliate with them because I started really like acquiring a lot and like doing reviews here on my channel and I realized how much I like them. So I'm giving them like really good press. So they opened an affiliate program and I signed up right away. So if you guys, you know, want that, the link is in my about section or in any of the solve knife reviews. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool actually. Okay, so Denny is more inter is interested in doing more giveaways with the supplement packs. Absolutely, you got it. Again, I'm a uh, team member of One Up Nutrition. I'm sponsored by them, so I will definitely give you guys more of that. I have plenty unopened, of course. <laughs> it's all sealed. <laughs> Uh, hey, John. Oh, thank you. I'll look at your message later. Okay, what else? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to catch up. Chadney's asking, where can I get your email? Chadney, it is in the description of any of my videos, including this one, or you can scroll up a little. I wrote it down for you. Littlefitdevil at outlook.com. Hello, everybody joining. I appreciate it. May 12th. Yeah, Stephen, Sheldon, Sheldon, May 12th is your wife's birthday. That's my birthday. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, she must be a really nice woman, Sheldon. He sh she shares the birthday with me. You know, it's funny. I don't share a lot of birthdays with people. It's kind of funny. I, I don't know many people that share my birthday, if that makes sense. I don't know many people with May birthdays. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Be patient with me. Have you ever heard or used Kershaw knives? Of course, I actually have a Kershaw Shuffle. It's a budget knife, really actually very inexpensive with a bottle opener that I got from one of my best friends. And I use that one a lot. You know, it's kind of nice, I have to say, although I own a lot of expensive knives having a budget knife that you can go to and not really worry about mistreating it it's kind of nice because i mean look you guys i have my pm2 here right and i freaking love it but this is an expensive knife so i'm going to be careful where i take this you know but a 25 dollar knife 30 even up to 50 maybe you kind of feel a little better about kind of beating the crap out of <laughs> or if you lose them you guys that's the thing i lost that browse knife and it was expensive and it had sentimental value and it freaking broke my heart. Broke my heart. Okay. Um, let's see. Someone has a P365XL. Oh my gosh. I wanted a SIG P3, P365. They were out of stock. Maybe someday. Someone has a P238 as well. Yeah, they're amazing. They really are super cool. Chucky, you'll be 34 as well. Nice, nice work. Tauruses make awesome friends with Scorpios. That is actually true. I don't know. Do you guys believe in um, astrology? I, I kind of, you know, go back and forth, but that is true, actually. Every time I meet a Scorpio, I know that I make good friends with them. My moon sign is Scorpio. I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Patrick says he has the same song for about 15 years. That's awesome. Kershaw fan. Ooh. You know, I really want to get... I saw the Kershaw leak is the one... Is it leak? I believe so. That I really wanted to get. I know it's also like a budget-friendly knife, but it, I love the looks of it. So I think I might. Are automatic knives legal in Florida? Do you have any experience or opinions on them? So, Lol, I actually have a Microtech Ultratech out the front. And it's actually one of my first acquisitions and I love it. And it is legal to carry that. And um, I have to say though, you know, automatic knives are, are sort of like popular because of the ability to deploy so quickly. But I have to be honest with you. I can deploy other knives way faster than an out the front. And I think it's because of the way that they're designed. Some of them are very, very tight. So it's really, it kind of takes some effort to deploy them. It takes some effort to bring them back. You will really have to clean them up, you know, and a $380 knife, I don't really want to put WD-40 on. You know, it's it's one of those things. Um, 
I like it. It's nice to have. Um, mine actually has a window breaker, um, a glass breaker that is, um, that I like to carry with me in the car. Uh, but again, I don't know if it's like my first choice, you know, of um, self-defense carry, if that makes sense. Emerson's are awesome. Yes, Blade Ogre, I agree. Um, my main one is actually a Protec Emerson. You know, I've seen people review Protecs and I I like them. I I should probably I should probably get one of those. Hey JJ, my dad is here. Say hello to them. Him. <laughs> okay. Carla, outside of YouTube, what do you do for a living? So I am actually, I work for a technology company. I've been with them for about six years now, and I am a data analyst. So I do a lot of um, nerd work, really. Um, and I also, I'm also able to apply a lot of like my concepts from my PhD. So I'm a PhD in industrial organizational psychology. So I also develop a lot of processes that makes people's job faster, more efficient and, and quicker. So it benefits the company as well as the employee, if that makes sense. So I, I do some development work as well. Uh, and most of the development work is for storing of data. So I hope that answered your question. What's your favorite brewski? You know, I don't drink beer much, but if I had to pick one, I used to like Blue Moon quite a bit. Shock Top is also a favorite. You know, again, if I have to drink beer, I like Coronas too. My dad is a fan of Coronas. I, I can I can enjoy a Corona when the time is right. But I do miss Argentinian beer. So Argentinian beer, you guys. I grew up in Argentina. I don't know if you guys know this. I was born there. Um, so they come in like most of them. They come in liter liter bottles. So they're huge, right? Um, and if you like chill them, they are. I mean, chill them meaning like really really cold freaking best <laughs> I do miss that you know pizza and beer was one of my favorite things to do as a younger Carla if that makes sense um yeah so I am a doctor uh meaning I hold a doctorate so I do hold, hold I have a PhD in industrial organizational psychology all my degrees are in psychology um my master's and my PhD are in industrial organizational psychology why not the Hellcat? Because um, I decided, honestly, to go with the Smith & Wesson. I was about to buy a Hellcat, but then I kind of changed my mind and I went with a Smith & Wesson MP um, Compact 2.0. So, yeah, people are kind of like feeling it when, when you lose a knife. Man, it's, it's bad. Bucky's in Florida? No, you know what though? I love Wawa's. I don't know if Wawa are Wawa's like um I mean the gas stations. <laughs> are those like from the south? Is that what it is? Because I'm new to newer to Florida. I've only been here for almost two years, but a lot of these things were not in Montana where I came from. I lived in Montana for 12 years before I moved here. Um so Wawa is a new one that I think it's awesome. Racetracks. I think they're pretty cool. I do love the food from Wawa. I don't know if this this that's bad, but I kind of like it quite a bit. They have some really good stuff. A bunch of Scorpios in here. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Your guys are my new besties. <laughs> okay, Theodore is saying he had a few tack for knives. They're pretty decent for a $10 knife. Wow, that's inexpensive. That's awesome. And then th that, that got him to, to college. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, what's up? I'm sorry, I'm still scrolling. So I think I'm answering your questions just kind of late. Um, and yes, I am also a veteran. I think someone mentioned it, but I'm not in the armed forces anymore. So I am a, vet a veteran. I served for eight years, six active reserves, two inactive. And I finished my contract last year. Yep. So I'm all done with that. I was a 91 Bravo. I know that question's coming up because that's kind of what happens, but yeah. Oh, Cody, you're my favorite. I look 22. I wish. Thank you. You guys are sharing your EDCs. That's so awesome. This guy has a P2 
P365, a Kershaw Blur, a Leatherman Squirt, and a Steamlight Stylus Pro. That's a super sweet EDC. I really need to get a flashlight, you guys. One of those old lights would be really kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm still scrolling, you guys. I'm freaking trying. Thank you guys for actually ask, answering some of the questions for me. It seems like some people know me already and they have been answering my education questions and all that. Yeah, so, so doctorate, okay, let me explain this. So I have a PhD. So PH stands for philosophy and the D stands for doctor. So when you don't earn a medical degree, most likely you're earning a PhD. So that's what I have. It's a doctor in philosophy of psychology. Um, and no, I cannot practice medicine. I cannot prescribe medications. Now, you can be an MD, that's a medical doctor. You can be a pharma D, that's a doctor in pharmacist, uh, pharmacy. There's a lot, guys. There's even DOs that are like orthodontics doctors. So plenty. But again, you can be called a doctor without having a medical degree, if that makes sense. No, I don't know more than a medical degree. No, I, I haven't worked harder than a medical doctor. I'm just explaining the difference because I feel like a lot of people don't know that. Okay, let's see. Um, did I answer your question, guys? <laughs> okay, so Zach carries a Dan Wesson V-Bob and Socom Delta Elite from our his ADC. Show off. <laughs> Oh, Medford. So someone car carries a Medford Proxima. Yeah, you know, I've been wanting to try one of those, maybe. I don't know. I I've seen some and they look kind of neat. Okay, someone is asking about my schedule. Okay, guys, so I um, do live feeds every Saturday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. If I don't, I'll give you guys notice, but for the most part, I, I do that. I got a doctor. She got a doctorate degree to figure out us men. You know what's up? Let me tell you one thing. I feel like I'm very successful in a lot of areas of my life. I don't know if you guys have watched my about me video on my YouTube. It's actually kind of like the main one. So if you guys want to learn more a little bit about me, you can actually click on that video. However, <laughs> I have not been successful on actually what you are kind of joking about. Like, you know, like love life has been always really rocky for me. It has always been kind of like up and down, up and down. I have not found like a lifelong partner. Of course, I have a kid with someone that I divorced. And, you know, maybe one day. But the truth is, it's, it's I'm lacking in that area. You know, I, I have done so much and I'm so ambitious and I, I am um, so um, committed to my growth. And maybe that has taken away from developing relationships. That's my assessment. That's my psychological assessment of myself. <laughs> okay. I'll keep on going. See, so Sheldon, are you a DO? Is that a doctor of osteopathic medicine? Same privilege as an MD and I'm a DO. Exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> Samaya, <laughs> you're kind of funny. He's saying he has a doctorate in bovine scatology. I shovel cow patties for a living. <laughs> you guys, what do you do for work? I'm actually kind of curious to hear what you people do for work here. Steve, um, let's see, Sheldon already said, Sam already said. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. If you want to share, you don't have to. Thank you, what's up? That means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Oh, someone's saying happy Mother's Day. You guys, my birthday is so close to Mother's Day that I kind of forget that Mother Day, Mother's Day even happened. I served in the army. That was my branch. Um, okay, guys, two more minutes and I'm going to go eat something. I'm starving. Let's see. Um... Oh, my mom is here. Say hello to my mom. <laughs> Hola, mommy. I didn't mean to ignore your call. I saw it, though, but I'll call you later. 
Um, oh, someone is a Black Hawk helicopter crew chief. That's cool, Eric. Very neat. Uh, Sam is a homesteader. He has a little farm after he retired from the Marines. Oh, nice. Do you guys say hurrah? Because we say hua. What do you guys say? Hura? I don't remember. Alexander is asking, would what what would be love partner have to be? What would your love partner have to be as successful as you or could they be an average Joe? You know, that's a great question. I I haven't I haven't been with people that um have have had the same sort of um how do you say this? You know, I have dated people without degrees. I have dated people without jobs. Um, <laughs> I and I don't know. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. And and this that's that's kind of like the I think good person in me. I don't really care much for that, but maybe I should only because of who I am and what I have accomplished. And that has nothing to say for like you can't love someone that you know doesn't have it or that it's not like at your same level. I don't, I never really cared much for that, but I just wonder if that was, has been the reason why my relationships have not been successful. Maybe, I mean, maybe that's a good point. Okay, Blade Ogre. He has run an online game blog and forum for about 20 years. Blade Ogre, can you send me the link? I love gaming. So what kind of blog is that? I can't, I'm interested, I'm interested. Let's see, WhatsApp is a, he is a director of operations for a company that makes prototype plastic injection molds. Oh, that's kind of cool. Do you like your job? Seems kind of cool. Tura Thomas, Rangers all the way. Hoorah. <laughs> Alexander is an aircraft mechanic. He works on crop dusters in Northern California. You guys have the coolest jobs. Do you prefer men who were in the military or active military? <laughs> well, I mean, based on my dating record um, in the past 10 years, 90% of the men I have dated have been in the military. So I have a type. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I care. I honestly, I would rather them not be active military. That would kind of really put a poo poo on my dating life. But um, I kind of appreciate veterans, you know, a lot. Um, maybe I like the look of a veteran. I don't really know. Maybe it's just coincidence. I, I honestly can't, can't tell you. Thank you, Turo Thomas. And yes, Blade Ogre, please send me that. Um, Let's see. Yeah, hello to all the veterans, of course. Someone here was uh, 63 Tango. Wait, 63 Tango. Is that the equivalent of 91 Bravo today? Was it like the 63 series, like really long ago, the same? Wasn't it like real vehicle mechanic? I actually don't remember exactly. Okay, guys, it's time. I'm so hungry. <laughs> So I'm going to go eat something, but I, I really need to get going. Oh, yeah, Sheldon, exactly. I want to get one of those. So um, hopefully soon I'll, I'll invest in that. Maybe that will be like my birthday present. Okay, so Nebu Cloud, uh, his job is helping YouTube look a little better. Yeah, he does amazing work. If you guys need something like some digital creation, check him out. Doc, when are you going to give away one of those little mini guns you put together? Oh, like the goat guns? You got it. I'm going to try to get one to give it away. Good, 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 um, good suggestion. Yeah, I, I will certainly purchase one and give it away. I think that's a good idea. Go get Wawa. Yeah, I can't because I would, that means I would have to wake up little men just to drive. So I'm just going to see what I will raid my refrigerator. How about that? Sheldon, are you kidding me? Oh my god. You guys are freaking phenomenal people. I'm I'm honestly so happy. You, you, this community has probably been like one of the best things that have ever happened to me. If you guys have are watching YouTube knife channels, 
people are amazing amazing and sheldon holy crap you're honestly incredible thank you so much i really appreciate it um yeah that means a lot thank you so much i will make sure to review it and send you some pictures um i'm excited okay guys so that's it did you guys have fun i hope you did next week another giveaway i don't know what yet but i'll make sure to give away something fun follow me on instagram if you miss me during the week i will be dropping another edc gear review tomorrow if not check out my fishing video <laughs> and um i have a lot of content so hopefully you're not bored okay guys uh sheldon actually ordered the flashlight that i wanted so he sent it me for my birthday that's what he did okay guys I hope you have an amazing evening. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys next Saturday. I hope you have an amazing night. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye.